Now, if there's an artist in hip-hop that I really want to see making a comeback in the near future, it's definitely Fetty Wap. Now, if you're not aware, out of nowhere the other day, Fetty Wap was trending all over Twitter. And no, you don't have to worry, he's actually doing fine. But the whole internet, for some reason, at the same time, has really just been reminiscing about 2015 when Fetty Wap had the whole world in his hands. At one point, Fetty's entire wave was so powerful, you couldn't go to a social event without hearing his music. Now, please tell me if I'm lying. Now, according to Genius, the traffic on his song page on their website website has more than doubled in the last 48 hours. Now his numbers literally doubled in less than two days, which is a lot considering he's not really a hot artist in the music industry right now. This is the power of social media, man. It's literally free marketing. So many people who know about Fetty Wap and kind of forgot about him have not only been going back to his music, but obviously there's a whole lot of people who are just now finding out about Fetty Wap and that's why they're looking up the lyrics to his songs. And also his Spotify numbers saw an increase of 20% during that extremely short period. I'm imagining Imagining those numbers are even higher right now. Speaking of Spotify, he's been doing pretty good on there. As of right now, he's sitting at 8.5 million monthly listeners. I think those are some really solid numbers considering, like I said, he's not all that popping, at least for now. This really just goes to show that people are still streaming the hell out of his hits. But Fetty Wap in 2015 was on something else, man. It's funny because as I'm looking back at his success, it's only now that I'm realizing how big Fetty Wap actually was. The man was dropping hits bangers, bops, turn that shit louders consistently. Trap Queen was of course the start of his entire wave. Till this day, that's still his biggest record. I don't really think it's about Fetty Wap getting another Trap Queen. I think it's about Fetty dropping something that's gonna put him in the path of once again becoming one of the biggest artists in the music industry. I say this because he set the bar extremely high. Not only is Trap Queen a hit, did crazy numbers, had a crazy impact on the culture as a whole. Let's not forget that 679 exists. That's a really big one. And then let's not forget my way. And then the track again from his self-titled project is another one and that track didn't even have a music video. This is the thing about Fetty Wap. He's a natural hit maker, a great songwriter, talented as hell. He really has all that built into him. That's why he was so successful. But there were obviously things that stopped him from continuing to dominate the game. I don't want to go too deep into this at all because it doesn't really have anything to do with the music but baby mama drama. That kept him stagnating for a period of time. I think Fetty, like I said earlier, set the bar extremely high. Almost so high to the point where where you can't really replicate that kind of success. In a way, I think that's gonna hold him back a little bit because there is always gonna be so much contrast between whatever he does now and his previous success. People are always gonna look at what he did then, the Trap Queen kind of success, and look at what he's doing now. That's why a lot of rappers who kind of decline in terms of relevancy a lot of times have a hard time making a comeback. The momentum they once had is now gone. So now they're pretty much competing against the peak version of themselves. Now that's tough because for most rappers, at least, it's impossible to maintain and or stay on top of those spikes of relevancy for a long period of time. At some point, the wave will die down. It won't stay alive and vibrant forever, and that's natural. Look at Roddy Rich. Have you noticed how the box wave is kind of slowly fading away? The song did its job. It put him in such a good place, but best believe it'll be a year or two again before Roddy gets that amount of success. It comes and goes just like a cycle. It's been a while since Fetty Wap was on top, and just like like a lot of other rappers who've seen a crazy amount of success, this whole thing about comparing his current success to his old success is definitely gonna be one of those things that always comes up in the conversation when we're talking about Fetty. But at the moment, I think people just really want him to make a comeback. You know, a lot of people are definitely rooting for Fetty, me included. Obviously, we're all reminiscing. We've all agreed on the fact that he most definitely deserves to blow up again. Now it's about what exactly will the music sound like. At the time of me recording this video, he actually actually dropped a new song last night. It's titled Pretty Thing. So I'm gonna be keeping an eye open for how that performs. Also, his track Birthday that he dropped last summer was slept on like crazy. I mean, I can't believe that didn't blow up. It really captured that exact melodic style of rapping and singing that blew up Fetty Wap in the first place. So definitely don't sleep on that. But yeah, Fetty Wap 2015. The man was a walking W during that time. And honestly, man, I want to see Fetty Wap making a comeback. I really hope that happens very soon. Do you want that as well? Definitely. Let me know in the comment section below and let's have a discussion about this.